Hello, 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 and welcome back to Vampire. In the last part, we finally, finally finished the third chapter, Blackmail in Whitechapel, or whatever it was called. It took me three parts to finish it because it was so freaking long. And uh, we accidentally got Dorothea possibly turned into a skull, possibly just dead. I'm not really sure at this point. And uh, we found out Lady Ashbury is indeed eating people at the hospital. She claims she's doing it, you know, just to the people who are dying, dying. But I'm like, nah, she's killing people. That's my personal opinion. You can let me know your opinion in the comments. Um, but so we have a bunch of people who are sick and a lot of them are sick with things that I can't cure. So I'm going to run around and try and cure the people I can. I don't have cures for headaches and migraines, so that's not going to work. And I want to take care of some side quests because I have a crap ton of side quests. If I can just find out where they are, they are. Um, I have this weird one which I have all of those things in my thingy, but um, like if I try and track it, uh, it doesn't do anything. I, I can't, I can't do anything with it. So um, even though I have all these ingredients, so I don't know if it's bugged in my game or what, but I have all of these here. Um, retrieve Barrett Lewis's box from these two guys who are constantly fighting and really just want to bang each other. You can totally tell. I have this thing for the priest that I want to eat. So I should do it before I eat them and uh, find someone who can read braille so I can get the cure for blindness, which would be super awesome. So yeah, I have a bunch of stuff I want to take care of. Okay, let's go ahead and cure Pippa since she's the first one I see. Hello. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. I don't like you. Do you need medical help yourself, nurse? I'm afraid I've contracted some illness, Dr. Reed. Not under my watch, nurse. <laughs> Take this. You'll feel better. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You're welcome. You don't have to keep saying my name, though. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. All right, let's run down, talk to, I don't remember which one, one of the uh, gay men that we met earlier, excuse me. One of them is sick. Well, both of them are sick, but one of them is sick with something I can't cure, so... And Clay Cox is still hanging around here, no clue why. I think it's... Woo, this guy. This guy. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. Something like that. Do you need medical attention, sir? Afraid so. In the war, I was always worried about picking up something, getting some infection. Unfortunately... Got that fear in London now. Oh, I sure do. Throughout history, some diseases have done more damage to armies than any weapon created by man. You are wise to be careful. You're working at the Pembroke Hospital, aren't you? That's a good enough reason for me and Oswald to go there. Uh, well, I hope he does go there. Goodbye, Mr. Blight. Yeah, he had Take a cold. But if you see his friend, if I look over here, he has a headache and I can't cure it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to Whitechapel, which is quite a distance away and I hate it there. And I can't fast travel in this game, can I? There's no fast travel thing. No, there's not. Oh, that sucks. Can I? I can't hop and skip over there because I got a guy behind me. Also, don't mind if you could hear what sounds like a duck in my house. My dog is just chewing on his duck toy and it makes a, makes a quack sound. Okay, so here's... Oh, there's Joe and Barrett. I need to retrieve the box. I can't remember for which one. I guess Barrett's box, and I don't remember why. Because <laughs> it's been- it feels like it's been forever since I talked to either of them. Um, and I just gotta figure out how to- I keep the gray thingy on because then I can see people. Because I also have to find Albert Palmer, who's the son of the other guy that we met in the last part. He needs a cure for anemia, so... Hi. And I have it with me, I need to give it to him. Oh, they've got guns! <laughs> the hell? He's shooting me with guns. That's not fair. Stop it. Oh, is that a werewolf? What the hell? What did I get myself into? It's only level 10. It's fine. But still, ridiculous. Where'd you go? Oh god. Take that. Absolutely ridiculous what I get myself into. Or is that like that sewer beast that I found before? Can't remember. That's scary. Where would this box be? Yeah. Pop myself up here. Perfect. Um, does it? Nope. It's more junk for me. I hear a skull screeching. That's good. Point of this place. Yeah, you can scream all you want out there. Oh, here we go. Nope, used hatchet. Don't want that either. <laughs> right, Barrett Lewis, the bitter street merchant of Whitechapel, told me some frenzied inhabitants in some old condemned workshop attacked him while he was looking while he was looting the place for trinkets and tools. He had to drop his package to escape the assault and would like to retrieve the box. Maybe I should go and see for myself what is going on in the abandoned building. Well, obviously skulls and horrible things, but I don't see a box anywhere. I'll just pop out the window and mess with these guys. Or is it? There he is. Eh. Maybe one of them has it. I don't know. Ooh, but it looks like... Damn it. I can get a even higher on the building if Jonathan would cooperate. Nope. He refuses to cooperate. Okay, interesting. Aha, that's how you do it. 
This could be the box Lewis thought he lost. <sighs> There's a letter inside. You opened the box? I'll see what it does. Small box. Barrett, there is no easy way to say it, so I'm going to be blunt. We can't keep on like this. At least I can't keep on like this. If Joe ever finds out about us, about his wife and his best friend, it will crush him. And then he will kill you. We had some good time together, but we had some good time, good times. But let's face it, I'm never going to be your Jane Lewis. You know it, and I know it too, so I'm ending this, right here and right now. If you agree with my decision, I'm sure we'll find a way to be happy again. You, Joe, and me in time. And then the most important part of our story will have been preserved. Until that day, I wish you'd forgive me. Goodbye for now, Jane Peterson. A love letter from Joe Peterson's wife, addressed to Barrett Lewis. Okay. Who should I give it to, I wonder? Oh, God, Jonathan. Don't get involved with us. Just keep it to yourself. Give it to... I don't know. Oh, goody, there's another one down here. Die. Oof. Give me some of your blood. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Jesus. Give me some of your blood. Horrible thing. Horrible. Scared the poo out of me. I need to find out what the hell these things are. Um, I think I'm gonna give it to Barrett. Just because I don't want- it's his business if he's going to tell, uh, whatever his name is, Joe. I don't want to be a dick like that. And I can't get up there, and that's annoying to me. As much as Jonathan wants to get in on the gossip or whatever, it's really none of his business. Come okay. On, Barrett, you know the game. You pay for peace of mind. Yep, Barrett. You just look the other way this week. Give you the box of Joe right, right you there. You lose your is focus, he leaving? He is. Uh, can I ask him questions before I give him the box? There we go. Barrett. You had an affair with Joe's wife, didn't you? Yeah, I did. She's the only woman I loved. My first regret is that she stayed with Joe after Harry was born. The second is I never shed a tear when she died. Oh, wow. Did you ever try talking to Joe? Never. But I suspected he knew everything, even without knowing it. And he decided to make me pay in his own way. Sure. Do you mean... You're Harry's father. No one will ever know for sure. And it's better that way. And I don't believe I'd have been all that bad as a dad. Let's give him the box. I found this box in an abandoned building nearby. I believe it belongs to you. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is mine. So, you face those looms that roam around there. Extraordinary. I suppose I was lucky. Luck is a commodity round here. Yours should be properly rewarded. About this package, it's not just tools and trinkets, is it? I want to be rude or anything after your kind gesture, but it's none of your business. Yeah, because that's... I already talked to him about it, that's weird. Do you have any news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? It appears those who dare to get health care from that bitch are never seen again. Something fishy going on there, for sure. I'd really like to go check it out, but I can't. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to go and try and find that not disciple. Is that what they call it? Disciple. Yeah, of the priest guy. Who are you? I haven't met you yet. Don't be shy, handsome. What can Christina do for you? I'm not looking for what you're selling, but I'd like to ask you a few questions, if I may. I'm a doctor. Dr. Reed. All right then, but be quick, though I usually get paid when I open my mouth. My goodness. Tell me about yourself. Are you joking with me? People don't usually come to see me for conversation. I have no interest in your work. I am, however, curious as to what led you into this career. <laughs> Short story. The war, exile, and England. This country is not especially welcoming. I've been refused many jobs because of where I am from. Russia? I had few options left. I always thought I was the master of my own fate. But now I know we don't always have control over our lives. I don't judge you. You know, this money is not only for me. I have good reasons to need this money quickly. But it is not your concern, Doctor. Okay. About Clayton Darby's investigation. The journalist guy? Clayton Darby claims he will expose the crisis in Whitechapel to all of London. Do you believe him? 
I believe Clayton's courage will erode with time, until he finally leaves Whitechapel to start another fight somewhere else. Why this skepticism? How can you speak about starvation if you've never been hungry? Or about poverty? Or anything else you have never suffered from? Are you talking from experience? I've seen your type come here to get a good fuck in a cheap <laughs> room or a dark alley before going back to their fancy houses in the West End. Oh, that's not what I'm here for. Christina, have you been examined? The epidemic is spreading fast in London. And you could be exposed. Or expose others. I don't like doctors or hospitals. But I don't like you asking questions. Is she sick? She has fatigue. I think I have a fatigue thingy with me. You can put your own life in danger, that's your decision. But what about your clients? If you're contaminated, you will put them in danger too. And you think that would worry me? If you knew the men I deal with, their health would not be what you'd worry about. Considering your line of work, I assure you, it is only a matter of time before you have, she have a cold sore? health <laughs> issues. <laughs> if it Probably is going to happen, it will happen. Lipstick. Right now, I need money. That's what's important. Now let's ask her about Nurse Crane again. What do you know about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Two girls I know went to the dispensary yesterday. Nobody has seen them since. Great. It's totally my fault. Them, in case bad things happen. Don't go there. Um, do you need any assistance, Miss Popper? It depends on the price of your medicine. That's free. I am shocked that you would think I am that sort of man. Forgive my suspicion. I'm so used to liars with good manners. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Goodbye, miss. Take care of yourself as best you can. Later. Stonebridge Cemetery. This is place I haven't been. Eat this rat. No, it's fine. Rats are delicious and you can't get the plague or whatever <laughs> disease the rat might have. So it's cool. It's all good. Cemetery's nice, actually. Surprised there's no skulls hanging around. Oh, Samuel, where are you? Oh, I got a music cue. Blinker skull. All right, sure. I don't have enough stamina or like, I, I can't ever get these guys to like, let me eat them. <laughs> I just, I can't stun them well enough. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, that was easy. See, my stamina just sucks. I kept running out. Give me all your junk. More of them. Dazzled. He's dazzling. Widow in distress. Okay, hang on. I'll help you in a second. So let me finish killing. Widow in distress. I'm just gonna know where that's coming from. Doesn't she have a name? And how do you know she's a widow? Ooh, a rat. Give it to me. Yummy. I can't believe I'm Oh, doing shut this. up, Jonathan. Why do you say that every time? Like it's something totally terrible. Widow in distress. New investigation. Okay. I'm coming. Hold your goddamn horses. Eh. Again with somebody trapped? This must be the other person I haven't found here. What do I want? I want to kill these guys with my whatever <laughs> surgical saw thingy that I have. Yeah, one second. Just loot their dead bodies. Yeah, she's the only other person I haven't found here. Hi. Wanna talk? Are you all right, miss? I... I don't know. Who were those people? They, they... they wanted to kill me. Why? They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Shaoshun. Oh. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. Chinese? I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay. Carnage. Is Father Whitaker's disciple among the bodies? I oh, I don't know. This man's far too old to be sent. Say so, I can't really tell. No. By the look of his clothes, this man's a docker. A docker. Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Uh huh. The trail is sort of this. It sort of goes up to this window. Can I get behind here? This is sort of the trail, Jonathan. I don't know what else I'm supposed to follow. There's one speck of blood here. It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. I couldn't possibly rip it open. Hello. Okay. 
There's more blood. Lead me right to a bunch of skulls. What a surprise. As I fear. Samuel no longer touches the good work. What's happening? I can't see anything. Get off of me. Oh, he's one of these guys. Oh, he's, a, he's this guy. Die, Thamil. Uh, will you lock on, please? I have to do it every time. It's ridiculous. I'm just getting bum rushed over here. Stop it. Personal diary. I'll read that in just a minute after I gobble up some of these delicious rats. No kidding. Really? Just figured that out now? 12th October. Father Whitaker is so righteous, so full of compassion and love for the suffering ones. His words are all the city needs, right? Tonight I gave him all I have, my strength, my faith, my wealth, and if it is not enough, I know where to find more. 17th October. Father Whitaker and I went to an abandoned house near St. Mary's Church. It was an awful and smelly place. Rats were disputing the rooms to the last remaining residents of the decrepit flats. Most of them are sick. Awful, awful odors. Yeah, I think I've been there. On the last floor, Father Whitaker found an old man lying on a dirty mattress, coughing and spitting blood in a wooden bowl. Father Whitaker knelt before him and prayed a long time. The man seemed to feel better. Then we both helped him find the light. I cried, and then I cry now as I write these lines. For I've never seen a soul so relieved to be finally redeemed. Father Whitaker is a saint. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I wish I'll be able able to save as many souls as he does, for it's a real privilege to witness such miracles. 19th October. Tonight, we both went to the whorehouses boarding the canal. I must admit, I was very afraid to cross the path of the Jezebels, but the buildings were abandoned for a long time. Whores and infections go together, explained Father Whitaker, but their customers quickly get scared when there is mention of disease. In the last brothel, we found two sick women sleeping together in a sinful attitude under dirty blankets. The odor was awful once more. The smell of Satan and of the disease, explained Father Whitaker, before kneeling and praying for these two lost souls. The women were so frail and sick, they were not able to move when the when I threw the petrol on the blankets. Their souls are now cleansed and purified. I am totally fine eating him now, even more than I was before. 21st of October. Father Whitaker is a saint. I won't let anyone mock the holy man he is. He shall receive more help and support, but as all the true prophets, he's alone. He needs more from his followers. He needs love and proof of love. Tomorrow, well, he's not God. Tomorrow I shall go back to the cemetery and unearth more wealth for him. The dead have no need of the terrestrial goods, but we need to eat Father Whitaker and I. 27th of October. Tonight, for the first time, it was my turn to lead the round. I chose to return where we went 10 days ago to see if any more souls needed to be freed. Father Whitaker approved my choice. Since the good man's work is never finished and Satan never sleeps, he explained. He also said, if I keep showing so much zeal, he may soon give me more important missions and tasks. I can't wait. Three more souls have been cleansed from any corruption tonight. If it's not presumptuous nor a sinful expression of pride, I dare say we are on a path. We are one. We are one a path to greatest. We are one a path to greatest. Whatever that's supposed to mean. All right, I'm definitely gonna kill that guy. He's burning people. Well, give me this rat. Oh god, finally found him. So annoying. So annoying that they're not listed on the map where they are. It's Father Whitaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Yeah, that's what it is. Confess your crimes. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What did you see there? I sent him on a vision, a dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. Uh-huh. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Right. <laughs> Tobias Whitaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! No. The only way to contain the spread is to strike at the source itself, the proliferating sin. You're not the savior of London. 
You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Okay. Have you recent news of Nurse Crane and her dispensary? If you propagate the devil's work, you'll perish by the devil's work. Okay. Such is the law of the Lord. All right, did he give you that personally? I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He didn't make donations. He, he would stole have from dead people. Himself if you'd found me if you can even steal cemetery. from dead people, I don't know. Please accept this money. My god. Just leave. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Is that quest finished? That was horrible and annoying. It is. Wonderful. Um, I just want to be clear about something. Where are you? Yeah, I did definitely miss a hint, so... Ugh, but he didn't mesmerize level 5. So annoying. What else we got? I still gotta find you. Give you your, that anemia cure. Find someone who can read braille. I don't know, can I just mark that and will it tell me? Ooh, new hideout unlock. Sweet. I'm just running around looking for stuff. Actually, I'm looking for whoever the guy is that I need to find. I guess I can dump all my junk here first. Alright, I think this is the place. I can't really tell. Oh, I'm sick of running into skulls, though. Good evening, sir. Yeah. It's me again. Leave me alone, I say, whoever you yeah, are. Yeah, you're mesmerized level 3 required. Alright, so I can't do that one anyway. But he's All the right. husband I of the insist. woman who is selling the Goodbye fake now, medicine sir. by the cart. All I have left to do is find Albert Palmer wherever the heck he is, and um, cure him, and then run to a place I haven't been since I started the game, the place in the very, very beginning of the game, and cure the drunk guy in the bar, because he's been sick since the beginning, and I totally forgot about him. And since I gave that fatigue cure to the prostitute, I'm going to make another one for him. There you are. God, it takes forever to find you. So annoying. How are you, boy? I'm not your boy, all right? Now piss off. Gladly. You, he has that, um... That thing that David Bowie had, and lots of people have, uh, the two colored eyes. Do you need assistance? Please. Feeling tired these days. I bet. There you go. Let's hope nobody steals it from you. Very yeah. funny. Hilarious, actually. Have you heard anything about Nurse Crane and her dispensary? Never heard of her. Okay. Goodbye, young man. Now, I have to go. I actually don't remember. That's the really bad thing. The docks. I have to go all the way back there in order to help this guy out. So I'm just gonna mark that and run 300 meters this away. Well, I found another hideout. It's good for me. I can't really figure out how to get back there and I'm thinking maybe I can't since I took a boat to the hospital. So I'm not really sure. I might try and figure it out at a different point. New va the Vampire Club, my favorite. It's a pamphlet. West Enders must unite. Don't let them fool you. Don't let them control you. They are amongst us. They lust after your soul. Vampires are real. Defend your community. Do you think vampires hide in the dodgy areas and the hovels of London? No, they hide in the highest clubs and fancy houses of the West End. I know for a fact that some of them rule the empire in secret. They have a club. They have public figures. They have balls and fancy parties. They aim to control the country and our destinies. We must reveal them for what they are. Greedy enemies of mankind born into this world to bring us all into the eternal darkness of hell. You know them, but you don't dare to pronounce their names. I will soon, and everybody in London will know the name of the Vampire Club. Clarence Crossley. For more information, please contact me directly. Interesting. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go ahead and sleep it off, although I'm 100% positive I can't upgrade anything. There, I just upgraded some useless stuff, like how many serums I can carry. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just sleep it off. There were no major district events. Everyone needs to calm down. Blah, blah, blah. What, in this district? I don't even know this district. Why are you telling me? Who lives here? Nobody I know. Oh, look at all the people who are sick. It's just going down because uh, Dorothy's missing. I can't help him. He's got three on him now. Neuralgia. I would love to treat neuralgia, but I don't have it. He's got fatigue. He's got fatigue. He's got fatigue. Good God. There seem to be doing- I'm stuck. Stop it. They seem to be doing all right, except for this headache I got a cure. And uh, he still has fatigue. He doesn't seem to be getting worse. People in Whitechapel, I might just have to like let them go. 
because they seem to be getting worse all the time. But there's still one dude here I haven't found too. Annoying. Alrighty, well that's it for me for this part. Widow in Distress Investigation Update. Okay, that's definitely something that um we could check out in the next part. I'm probably going, I'm going to attempt probably off camera to try and get to the docks and see if I can. And if I can, then I'll include it in the next part. Um, and then I'm gonna probably going to run back to the hospital, uh, talk to Dr. Swansea, get the next part going, talk to him about um, the blood sample that we found, and then uh, see as, uh, if I can cure as many people along the way. Look at my gross face. <laughs> if you did enjoy this part, please let me know in the comments. Leave me a like or a dislike if you like his disgusting red eyes looks like a zombie let me know i want to hear your thoughts and as always i thank you so very much for watching it means the absolute world to me and i'll see you in the next one bye bye